Hey Tamara, it's Steve here from South Africa. Today we're going to be talking about math and something scientific. One thing I want to know is have you ever gone outside to look at the stars? You know when you look up and you see those beautiful bright shiny lights you think to yourself, ah, oh, I'm looking into the future. Well actually you're not. You're looking into your past. Now you're probably wondering how is that possible. So let's backtrack a little bit. We'll do this in small chunks. If I go outside and I stand on top of a mountain and I go, hello, and I hear, hello, coming back, that is my echo. And the reason why it takes a while to travel there and back is because sound travels from one spot to another, hits the wall, and bounces back. We could measure that distance and how long it takes, and we can work out the speed of sound. Now, we use the metric system, so for us, sound is 330 meters a second. Now, what about light? Does light travel at the same speed as sound? Not at all. In fact, light travels so quickly that we have measured it to be 330,000 kilometers per second. What I'm really saying is that light is a million times faster than sound. Now why is this so important? Well, the moon is approximately 300,000 kilometers away from Earth. So if you go stand on the moon and switch on a bright light, we will see that one second later. So the moon is one light second away. Our sun, if you were to switch it off, we would only see the darkness eight minutes later. Why? Because the light that's traveling from the sun, it is so far away that it's going to take only eight minutes to reach us. And now when you look at a star that is 10,000 light years away from Earth, it means that the light traveling at its incredible speed will take 10,000 years to reach us. That is how far away that star is. Which means that when you look at that star at night, you are looking at the light that has just arrived from 10,000 years ago. Whew. That is very far away. So hopefully you've learned something new today. That when you go outside, you look at those stars, you're looking back in time. You're looking at history right in front of you. That's what I've got for you today. Straight back to you, Tamara.